Welcome to the regulars. The most feared, respected, and revered fighting force on God's green earth. Some of you are here by choice. Others, not. Regardless of the circumstances of your joining us, you are all brothers now. And the only way you have a chance of surviving is if you trust your brothers. One weak link can kill a whole squad on the field. I want you to think about that long and hard. That's one of them that's responsible for this. Rounding up the young ones and shipping them off. We need to put an end to it. What is your plan? Uh, kill him, then the rest, and set all them boys free? It's a good plan, but it lacks detail. How is your aim with that rifle? You can pop a muskrat's head from a quarter mile nine times out of ten, and the ten's a misfire. That should do. Cover me from up there. Assassins strive for peace through freedom, and the Templars, they want only to control. Well, I'm for freedom, I know that much. If your order needs a good rifle, sign me up. You do not partake? No, sir. I need to stay sharp in case you call upon my rifle. Spirits do me in right quick. Drank half a flask of rum out in the bush with my brothers a few years back. I went for a run in the buff before I found myself rolling around in deer scat being sick all over. I don't want to go there again. No, thank you. 
Smart choice, given the circumstances. I want to fight like you someday. You have everything it takes to be a great assassin. And that means something coming from you. Where did you learn to shoot like you do? Ranging with my dad and brothers in Virginia country. My family's been surveying and prospecting out there since my grandpappy. How did you end up here? I'm the youngest of four brothers. I was always gonna be a runner-up with them. So I set off alone to do my own business. Out west of Ohio's territory that no man of the colonies ever trodden. I figured I could find contracts out of New York. Then the war started. And you sided with the Patriots? Not really. My family's for the King. I just don't like seeing boys forced to fight against their will is all. But I know that I want to be free. For all to be free. If that means I'm a Patriot, I guess I am. You are an assassin. Nothing else. That I am. I'm proud of it. Stefan, how is your ale? Peace, but it gets the job done. My father would be disgusted, but after a day's work with you, a man needs to unwind. I would prefer a nice bottle of wine, but these colonies lack refinement. Your father? Mon père. He was a great man. A cook in the French army during the Seven Years' War. He marched all across the White North, feeding Louis-Joseph de Montcalm and his officers, and cooking them feasts from sticks and berries. When the commander-in-chief opted for open conflict over manning the battlements of Quebec, every man was called to arms, including my father. He died on the field. But I'm told he fought ferociously. It matters little. He's gone now. He would be proud of you. This is my one hope, that he smiles upon the choices I've made. Connor, do you have time to sit? I do. Good. I have been meaning to ask you. How did you come to Aziz? I did not ask for it. But I feel it was meant to happen. I was just a boy when I met Achilles. He made me a warrior. <laughs> is that easy? I miss the kitchen, if you can believe it. I had more control in that world than I ever will in the one we inhabit. 
But more people get to taste the fruit of my labor in this line of work, and for that, I am satisfied. We may change things yet, if we press on. Frenchmen from the north never grow weary. Just ask the women. <laughs> What's he got this time? Let me see, let me see. A veritable bounty! Shiver me timbers! That'll learn you one of these trips to be sure. I will be back for the rest. Faulkner's guess better be right. Why anyone would believe the Northwest Passage exists is beyond me. The Octavius, Hendrik Vanderhall's first and last captaincy. Hendrik Vanderhall, Captain Kidd's quartermaster turned captain himself. The path you sought never existed, Hendrik. I hope your suffering was short.
Press the rock that doesn't fit. Again? What do you got for me? You idle boy? That's not near enough! 